So the first thing that you'll need to do is prepare the zip file which contains the plugin. Now I've already prepared that here. Well, let me show you the uh, Explorer. I've already prepared the zip file here, the skim uh, and the date zip file here. We need to expand that into uh, a directory of files and then we'll FTP that directory of files up into the correct location in Moodle and then we'll tell Moodle that we've installed a plugin and it will go through and actually finish the install for us. So first we expand the zip file Okay, and it's just expanding now. All right, and there we have our folder, which is a skim folder, and that contains all of the files. So that is the folder we're actually going to upload to our server. So, so we could get our FTP client, and I'll just refresh that so we can see that the file directory we want is actually here. There is the skim folder. Now we need to move that into the correct location in Moodle. So to do that, we go to the root of our Moodle directory, and then we need to go a few steps. We go to lib, editor, tinyMCE, we'll go from there. Uh, and then we need to go to plugins. We can double click on it, plugins. Uh, and once we're in the plugins folder, we're in the right location to upload the skim import plugin. This is where all the plugins go. Some of the other plugins are the spell checker, the Moodle media and the Moodle image plugins. This will only uh, be possible on Moodle 2.4 and above. I'm installing here into a Moodle 2.5 installation. Okay, we can see now that the upload is complete and the skim plugin is all in place on our Moodle 2.5 directory. Right, let's then go into Moodle 2.5 and uh, finish the install. Okay, so here is our course. Just move it down so you can see it a little bit uh, more easily. I'm logged in as the administrator, uh, and once I've logged in as the administrator, I should have this site administration menu. If I click on that and go to notifications, it will detect that a new plugin has been uploaded and it will go through and actually finish the install. So it says to be installed and upgrade Moodle database now. Well, let's do that. All right, and that's been done. The next thing we'll see should be a list of settings for the, the new plugin. Now, these may be in the site administration menu. Uh, for now, let's just accept the defaults. We've worked pretty hard to make sure that they do work correctly. Let's just go to the bottom there, which you can't see very easily. And we have a Save Changes button. Okay, and the installation is complete, and the Skim Import plugin should now be in place. Let's go through and just test that by uh, going into our test course. And we'll make a forum post which contains uh, some skim notes. So here it takes a while, but here's this uh, tiny MC editor, and we should see here that uh, our link to the skim input plugin is here, and there it is there. It's the uh, little set of uh, sunglasses. Okay, so let us click on that. We're presented with a dialog into which we can paste any RTF files that were exported by the skim PDF annotation tool. I will actually have, uh, what do I know? I don't think I do. I actually have some notes here that uh, we can use. So let's copy those. Not this. Not this. This is a distraction. Okay. And then into this area here, let's paste our notes and when we press insert they should be format formatted into skim format if we're doing it at the same time here including screen recording so it's briefly frozen one on me but uh, you'll see if we go to the top of the if we go 
here at the top that we do in fact have uh, formatted formatted text okay all right and that is how we install the skim import plugin for Moodle if you have any questions uh, you can email me at poodlesupport at gmail.com and I will try and answer them.